Our second generation vehicle, R2, is on the road today, and we've been delighted to see the public's reaction to it. These zero occupant vehicles are such a necessary solution to wasteful trips to the store, and they also help contribute to cleaner air, safer roads, and more equitable access to goods. But we didn't just stop with R2. We evolved what is now our next generation vehicle. I'm gonna tell you why this newest design is so important. The first and most important advantage of evolving our vehicle design is safety. We're building what I would argue is one of the safest vehicles on road, especially when it comes to vulnerable road users, such as pedestrians and cyclists. This is a thinner and lighter weight vehicle that features innovations such as a pedestrian airbag. There are no internal pedals, no steering wheel, and no seat belts. They don't even have seats. Since no one sits inside our vehicles, we've really tried to take safety innovations that for over 60 years have focused internally on protecting drivers and passengers and flip that to the outside to protect those around us. And that's been one of the primary advantages of Neuro's approach all along. The second major reason we've evolved our design is to make our vehicles even more environmentally friendly. They've always been all electric, and zero emission, but now they're completely powered by renewable energy. So our vehicle is exciting and memorable and so much better for the planet than making trips to the store in a gas-powered vehicle. The third advantage is the way we're going about the capacity of the vehicle. With each new generation, the vehicle has grown a little bit in size, and we're now at the point where we can hold 24 bags of groceries or about 500 pounds of goods. That's a lot of capacity, and this is really exciting to our partners, both for larger orders that we can carry, but also for batching multiple orders. Finally, on the range front, we've almost doubled range with each generation of vehicle. And now, with our third generation vehicle, we'll be able to reach 45 miles per hour. We'll also be able to achieve about 100 miles per charge along with DC fast charging, which really makes this both a very capable electric vehicle, but also highly durable and ready for commercial service. Now let's discuss the sensors that allow the vehicle to navigate through the world in which it operates. Long range sensors are up in the sensor pod. And we have thermal cameras, as well as short range sensors optimally placed around the vehicle to minimize blind spots. One of the benefits you get from a custom vehicle is that you design the sensors into the vehicle as opposed to adding them after the fact. The arch has been a consistent part of our vehicles from the get-go at Nura. It's a recognizable feature and it's also where we pack all of our core technology. We've got three main sensors, one main LiDAR, a 360-degree ring of long-range cameras, including a traffic light detection camera, as well as a 360-degree ring of long-range radars that are very important for velocity detection as well as for adverse weather driving. In addition to that, underneath the arch, we also have three thermal cameras. We did this primarily to protect vulnerable road users. Driving at speed at night is one of the riskiest situations, and one of the situations we felt we could mitigate risk through the addition of thermal cameras. So we made sure to position them in a wide fan that faced forward. In the front and on the sides, we have short-range sensing, a short-range LiDAR, a camera, and a radar. These are optimized for detecting pedestrians and people that are around our vehicles, especially during pickup and drop-off. They also come with cleaning and clearing to make sure that we keep our sensors free of dirt and debris. We have a high degree of redundancy with our sensors to minimize blind spots so that as kids and dogs and people are running around our robot when they're excited to get a delivery, we can track where they are at all times. Now we'll move from sensing into compute. There are many layers of distributed and redundant compute within our third generation vehicle, as well as a really robust harness that connects everything together. We also have the main compute along with a powerful thermal system to keep these systems cool. Additionally, we have a triple redundant aerospace grade computer 
that controls our vehicle and several sensor aggregation computers. Together, they can bring the vehicle to a safe stop in the event of a power loss situation or a compute failure. Redundancy has been a core part of our safety story from day one at Neuro, and it's been a part of R1, R2, as well as our third generation vehicle. We're not just throwing things that you've ordered in the back of a trunk or in the back seat. This is a unique user experience. As you can see through the evolution of our three generations of vehicles, we've really tried to focus on making an end customer experience that's tailored for goods delivery. We've implemented modular compartments where we can put pizza inserts, grocery inserts, package inserts, and many other different modular use cases that we can customize the needs of our partners without having to fundamentally change the underlying vehicle. These modular inserts are even temperature controlled, so pizza stays warm and soda stays cool. We're proud of the work we've done to get to this point, and we've loved seeing R2 on public roads. And we can't wait to introduce our third generation vehicles to communities across the country. So keep a lookout, someday soon, there's a good chance you'll see a Neuro drive past your front door.